Hi, let's see how this multi-table data set that we created earlier, the sales history Oracle Hive uh, multi-table data set based on an Oracle connection as well as a Hive connection, how to use this data set as a source in a data flow and load data into one of the tables in a data set. I'm going to create a data flow and pick sales history Oracle Hive as a, for the add data set you'll see the list of columns from all tables within that data set, you know, columns from channels, customers, and then some countries. I'm going to select a few columns from this data set. Let's just say, I'm, you know, I want to pick a few columns from channels and you can see the data from channels. Okay. So in here, in the add data set, behave some, you know, similar to what you see in projects. Okay. Um, you have a list of columns from all the tables within the data set. Now let's see how save data set works with the multi-table data set. So for save, when you save a data to a data set, so you give a data set name, just like today, right? So I'm just going to say data flow channel is the data set, right? Um, you can save it as a data set storage, right? You also have this you know, option to save it in a database connection, in which case you, can spe you have to specify a table. So as we have seen with multi-table data sets, you know, a data set can have multiple data set tables. So I'm just going to say just DF channel table, right? That's the data set table name within a data set. And we have to give a corresponding table name to store the data in the database. I'm going to save this data set as DF empty data set. Pick a connection. So you have to select a connection here. I'm just going to use the local demo database, save the data set. And I'm going to run it. Okay. The data flow is complete. Let's go back. It's the DF channel is the data set that just got created by the data flow going to open the data set. If a data set has only one table, um, it'll uh, land you in uh, the transformation editor. I'm just going to go to join diagram. And in here, you'll see uh, I created a, a DF channel data set and a data set table. Okay. So if you have a multi-table data set with multiple tables in it, just one of the table could be refreshed by a data flow periodically.